Boom. It starts right there. I'm, I'm pumped. My name is Daniel Eisenman, and I am part of the Rob Bras, and I have made it an art and passion to feel good. I have the highest capacity to be creative, productive, um, think clearer, think sharper when I'm in a state of feeling good. And when I mean feeling good, I mean naturally feeling good, that my body's doing it on its own, that I'm not necessarily dependent on something outside myself or outside nature to feel that way. Some of my best creations and my best works and my best breakthroughs have come through when, when I'm in that state. And I, I really do believe in the, the power of tapping into your heart. And I think you can uh, tap into your feelings and your heart when you are tapped into your body. And, uh, and I can, I'm just much more in touch with my whole being when I'm in that state of feeling good, for sure. Well, I really do think that one of the best ways to bring more goodness into your life is to share what you don't like about your life. It's to find someone that you can basically express what is challenging you. And I think the more you can express that, the more you release it, and it starts a new slate for goodness to come in. If I had to give one piece of advice for someone that wants to start on their path to feeling good, I would dump the same perspective that came upon me, which was my happiness is my choice. No one else is gonna do it for me. That every morning I have the choice to wake up, drink that water, I have the choice to smile, I have the choice to be grateful, I have the choice to find gratitude even in the most challenging of times. And I think uh, real wealth and real riches come from an attitude of gratitude. That time that when you are feeling good, whether it's after a cold shower or that really good cup of coffee or after a long night's rest, that is the time that you want to make your decisions. But I think it's, I think it's very important if you want to keep feeling good and if you want to feel better and better and continue that blissful feeling, that you have to make your decisions and your choices on life when you're feeling good. If you're making all your decisions when you're feeling depressed or sad, then I think you're going to continue in that state. So uh, a trick I've found, and I'm not recommending this for everyone, but after a good cup of coffee or a good beer, that's when I make my life decisions. The decision that I make in that moment will probably bring more of that blissfulness in my life. But you don't only smile and laugh when you're feeling good, but you can actually smile to feel good.